If you've been looking for a barbecue for your camper van, then look no further. We've got our mega barbecue test for 2022 right here, right now. I'll give you early warning, this is a long video, so make sure you use those chapters to skip to the section that you want to see. Okay, so we're going to give these barbecues a quick test. So what we've got here is a Weber uh, Go Anywhere Gas. Uh, we've got a Cadac Safari Chef 2. We've got a Ridge Monkey Griller. And we've also got a disposable barbecue, which is charcoal. So we're going to give them all a go. We're going to rate them uh, using a specially devised scoring table more to be revealed later on when we get to the taste test especially and yeah we're going to just see how we get on uh, i'll uh, pop a bit of footage in here so you can see the difference between them all but broadly speaking the weber's about the biggest of them all um, obviously uh, got the brand name everyone loves uh, a good weber barbecue uh, we've got one at home which is on the wheels and everything else and it's you know it's brilliant really like that I'm still a bit unsure about this uh, this portable one. Is it a bit overkill? Is it a bit big? Make up your own mind. We'll come on to that later as we score them. Then you've got the Cadac Safari Chef 2. Now this has to be the de facto barbecue that everybody seems to buy when they have a California. Um, and not, notwithstanding there is a camping gas version of it which has come out now, but people do absolutely love this uh, Cadac Safari Chef 2. We've had ours for three or four years, you can get loads of accessories for it, pizza stones, different grill plates, it's got a lid, you can use it as a uh, just a gas burner if you want, very versatile, built-in legs, all of that kind of stuff, we'll cover all of that as we get it out. Uh, and again, we've used a regulator so we can get it connected to our spare Cali gas bottle as well, which is quite handy, but does take up quite a bit of space in the back of the Cali, are you sure you're gonna to wanna to carry that with you all of the time? Uh, let us know. And then we've got a new entrant for us. Uh, we haven't tried this before, but again, big thank you to Camper Van Bits for sending us one of these to try. It's a uh, Ridge Monkey Griller barbecue, and it's uh, either gas or charcoal. Also um, works as a third way as a fire pit if you want it to as well. Uh, really keen to give this a go. Uh, I have a confession to make. I did try it out at home first because I didn't want to bring it away on this trip without making sure that it actually worked okay, and it does. Um, but we're going to get that out. I'll show you how it folds up. And the advantage of that one is it's really small. So really small when it's packed up. It's got a very flat bag, which it comes with and everything. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it looks, looks the business. Will it perform though? And that is what we're going to try on this video. And then the control barbecue, the, the, the one that we've all had a go with at some point, which is always hmm, a bit so-so. And in these days, not very environmentally friendly because they're single use, then you chuck them away, not too keen on that. But it's charcoal. Will it taste of paraffin or whatever lighter fluid they've put on it? Uh, we will see, but we've got a £3.50 from Wilkinson's or Wilco, if you're from the Midlands. Uh, we've got a disposable barbecue that we're going to use as our control barbecue to see whether the others, all gas, whether they can live up to the standard of this uh, £3.50 disposable. Let's crack on. So let's start with this Weber. So this is the Go Anywhere gas and it runs on these screw-on cylinder types. So uh, you've probably seen them before, but just a normal screw-on cylinder. Get it out the bag. Get rid of that, we don't need that. And then you have this monstrosity. Now it's got a very big handle oh, it's on it. It's been a bit harsh, monstrosity, It, <laughs> it, do, it's it does, compact. it does fit in the back of the Cali underneath uh, where you fold the, uh, the um, rear bed thing come on will board <laughs> bed board thing thing down you know what i mean <laughs> uh, and the way that this works is you have to undo these obviously there's a grill um, pre-used definitely not me and then the way that it works is that these fold underneath like this 
clip in like that. And those are your feet. Uh, Nifty. Obviously in here you've got, we've lined it just to try and make it slightly easier just for uh, cleaning purposes. But obviously you can see it's gas. It's got a really good quality, heavy duty grilling plate there. And obviously it's got a lid as well, which helps if it's a little bit windy. And then what you do is you grab your gas bottle, screw it on the back here. If in doubt, there, blame, look, if in doubt, blame there. the bottle. It's yeah. a dodgy gas bottle. Yeah. Um, and then there you go. So uh, you've got your controls here. So you've got an igniter on the front here, normal gas power controls. That's your master for just making sure that the gas is on or off. Um, and um, it's a good quality chunky so piece of kit, on, isn't it? If I take that off, take this out. That is lit. You can't see it, but uh, trust me, there's um, oh, there's yep. uh, heat coming off that. I can hear it now as well. Uh, and if you're the kind of person who likes to kind of warm up your barbecue before you start going for it, obviously you can do that with that one. Because uh, you can get the lid on, you get it lit, just leave it sitting there, warming up nicely. Then you can throw your Sausages literally th on the barbie. throw your yeah throw your food on the barbie. So, so that's that one. Right next up, we've got the Safari Chef Two, the notorious, notorious OG SC Two. It's not really the same as notorious Big, is it? But um, <laughs> it is the, the Safari, OG. The, the OG. <laughs> um, and as you can see in here, we've got Pizza Stone. Unused ne never, yet. Never used. Yeah. Definitely uh, been the suckers for the accessories there. <laughs> we've got <laughs> other bits and bobs in the top here as well. So what have we got in here? We've got two different types of griddles. So we've got a half, half and, and half. half. So hot plate and griddle. We've got new and unused full Tiff, griddle. Why is that new and I unused? Don't, I don't know. We just keep, I thought we'd have used We that. just keep buying stuff. Uh, we've got a gas regulator hose. Now this helps us use the Safari Chef 2 with this small gas bottle here. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for some kind of proportion Port there. Small portable. <laughs> portable gas bottle. Um, but this uh, this is the same gas bottle. It's a 907 camping gas, the same as they use in the California, or same as we use in the California. So this is actually our spare bottle for the California. So when we want to use a barbecue, we use our spare. With the added bonus then of you're never going to run out of your main gas. Correct. So this is a Safari Chef 2. Um, it's got funky Ooh. fold out legs. Uh, I like the fact that it's got three legs because then it, it's, it's never really going to wobble, is it? And then this just screws on the bottom, reverse thread, not looking like an idiot. Hey. Unlike you did with the last one. So there we go. No, it's because it says look, lock, lock, lock tight, and it's got an arrow, so you can't, oh, okay. can't so you forget. Can't, you can't forget them. Uh, so printed for numpty. And these have got little rubber feet on as well. Mm. It's really because like you yeah, put that there, it's not going anywhere. It don't so. move. It don't and, move. And it's important to stay actually. This table is not, not actually massively flat it's at the not. moment. It's so not. So a little bit of a you, know, you can whack all of these bits on. So you've obviously got a normal gas burner there if you want it. So it's not like a Outdoor traditional hob. Basically. Yeah, it's not like the Weber where you've got a bar. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so that's important. Now then, I need to remember what I'm yeah, doing with the rest of it. Yeah, you're right. That, that way up, I think. No? Yes. Oh dear, looking like. Oh dear. Haven't used it in a while yet. We are. Which is strange because. Does that go? It. Oh, that goes before that. Does that go before the? No, there's nothing to go on that. But does that not go on at all then? This, if you're not wanting to. Oh, of course. Yeah, the last time we used it, we used there, it like that, look, didn't we? Yeah, there. you see. You do so that. So to, to construct your barbecue, you do that and that. Look, you see there all you the best content on this YouTube channel. Yeah, we really so, look like what we know what we're doing, don't we? <laughs> so, so yeah, we've got all of that, and then you've got lid. A lid as well. Look at that. And the bonus here of this lid, actually, um, is you can use it with that other thing as a, so, as a hob and then you can use it as a cook stuff in it wok or yeah. stew pan or whatever you, can. you want to do so so that's what you got there obviously with the gas bottle just wind the uh, regulator onto the gas bottle open the gas up that's your heat control 
Um, so you can turn it down, turn it up. It's got Again, pretty well made, isn't it? Electric ignition, the same. Yeah. Jobs are good and so looking good. Now I think you've remembered it, how to build it. Hopefully, self-explanatory as to why so many people end up choosing one of these. Yeah. Right. We've been wanting to try one of these for a long time, and thanks to Camper Van Bits, we finally managed to get our hands on one. This is a Ridge Monkey Gorilla. Ooh. So. Okay, nobody wanted to hear that well. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this does come with. This is the wild card it's, newcomer. It is the, the wild card. Uh, it comes with Tools. a. Uh, I'm, I'm not liking what you're wanting to do with that. Though. Comes with them. Yeah. Uh, which is good. Quite nice uh, quality, don't they? They are nice actually. Yeah, um, fit and in then the bag thing. in here we've got a few different. Now this is really tiny. Bits how this and bobs. is folded up. I mean, look at how flat. That is a very flat bag of stuff. So with various bits and bobs in here. So that is a side table, yep. which clips on. I'll show you that in a second. We've got the gas bar. Which looks very similar, if you remember back to the one in the Weber. To the Weber. It's just yeah. that you can't remove the one in the Weber. Um, this does actually use the same type of gas cylinders as the Weber. So again, a screw oh, on one fitting. You screw on. That's it, yeah. yeah. So that will screw on there. I'll do that in a minute. If you can. <sighs> and then in here, you've got various other bits and pieces and the barbecue itself. So once you've got the barbecue out, you've got Stainless steel griddle, yep. uh, which does look very traditional barbecue, actually. Yep. Uh, so we've got that. We've got a plate which goes in the bottom of the barbecue when you open it out. Mm -hmm. And I think probably the easiest thing to do is show you how this works. Because you have a barbecue which looks like that. Uh, so it actually folds out to be really quite sizeable. I mean, if yeah. you look at the size of the... This the outdoor table for the Cali here. Yeah, I mean and, it's uh, it's that's, that's taking up a good amount of space. Pretty enormous. And we obviously we haven't got the side table on. I'll put it on the floor in a moment. Yeah. The way that this works, you can see it's got little hooks in here. You just have to hook it in here, and then hook it into the other side. It all comes apart so you can clean it a bit easier. That's all. And then that sits in there like that. And that obviously gives a bit of venting underneath through these holes here. So if you wanted to use charcoal in this, you layer the charcoal onto here. Uh, and then it's obviously got a drawer which comes yeah. through it, which is good. Nice. Um, you can also take, so obviously means cleaning it. So if you're using it um, with gas or with charcoal and you want to clean it, you use a Brillo pad or something like that, because it's stainless, you can really go at this. I really worry about using Brillo pads and stuff on things which seem to be non-stick or uh, kind of enamel and things. So, so you, uh, you pop that piece in there and then this gas stick, if you're going to use it with gas, you just need to insert this. Only goes in one way. You've got a little tab on the end there, which goes in the end here. If you come around this side, you'll be able to, to see. So you go through this end here, you put it through, hook it over the other end, put that tab down, and that won't go anywhere then. And then all you do is you <laughs> <laughs> screw your gas bottle on, Nice and oh, easily. he's managed it this time. Look, it's a problem with the Get Weber, that. clearly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you've got your control on the top here, which is your gas control, uh, obviously switching it on, and then clicker on the side. Right. That's an animal. Blimey, it can um, it can Ooh. get some proper uh, just turn that down a minute yeah. you can get some proper heat out of this one it, it does seem to want to really go and the reason it didn't start when I was clicking before I just hadn't screwed the gas bottle and this is a oh. brand no no this is a brand new bottle uh, excuses, so excuses. I, I wanted to make sure it was on properly but uh, yeah you can do not use a barbecue as a heater in your van I, I, I'm, I'm just... Or, or tent, yeah, or do awning, not, do or not. anything. Really bad. Do it outside, use it outside, don't use it in the van. Um, so, that's the, uh, that's the gorilla. It's a bit of an animal, isn't it? 
Whew, looking forward to uh, giving that a good go. This um, this uh, kind of burner plate which goes over that central bar because clearly you can't you can't just leave it like that. You'll end up with properly. Well, you, you could do if you're wanting food. to just kind of you know stick a sausage on the end of a stick or something. <laughs> that one just probably burn the stick to pieces. No? Slots in there like that, and it just diffuses the heat around it yeah. and, and over it. So, and then obviously you've got your your grill which goes straight on the top. Boom. There you go. And then this side table I said I would just show how that works I will put it on the floor when I use it in a second but this just hooks into the legs at the end so it just hooks in there like that sits next to it so you've got a little that, prep tell you table what, that gives you a massive barbecue for how I, or, I always I yeah. always think having somewhere that you can a wipe down so it's clean b pop your sausages your chicken your steak your yeah, gammon whatever. your salmon your how much are you cooking on that Really, really I don't know how much have you brought okay. with us. Not that much. Um, two of them. <laughs> so you've got a, a nice little uh, prep area there as well uh, and doesn't take up much space in the van either. So obviously remember all of this packs away into that small case. It lifts it a good small case. Good space off the ground as well. So if you're on a site like we are at the moment yeah. where uh, they obviously don't want you to put barbecues on the, on the grass or properly on the ground, then it's it's lifted up anyway, so great. So and finally, the control item. So there you go, Ooh. look, we've all had a go with one of these in the past. We've all uh, nearly uh, had food poisoning. Uh, it, well, there. apparently this includes a barbecue stand. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. But um, as I'm sure you've seen before, disposable barbecue, £3.50. If you're coming away for a night, maybe it's the right answer. We've tried these before. We end up with half cooked sausages on a beach in Cornwall and it was just terrible wasn't it? Not nice. Not nice at all. Um, so I will not have half cooked sausages this time because if they are half cooked by the time this goes out guess what? They're going one of, on. One of that, these other three. That <laughs> or that. <laughs> one of the other three is going to manage it isn't it? So yeah we'll uh, we'll see how we get on with this. I do think this might give the best taste though. It might do it's the only charcoal It's the option, only one which is it? going to be cooking with proper fire. Yeah. Like, like real fire, not but fake fire. But I do fire. also remember in the past having one of uh, having a barbecue off one of those, and it did taste a little bit like lighter fuel. Yeah. So yeah, it swings and roundabouts. Let's see. Let's. Yeah. I think there's only one way to to find out how these are going to work, and that is to get the sausages out. So today we will be cooking Waitrose Summer Pork Chorizo Manchego Sausage Whirls. Ooh. They sound a bit special. Oh, well, they should be for two two lots of these. So that's eight sausages for £7.50. Ouch. Saw you come in, didn't I? I think it's important to say here, we're going to cook eight. So that's two on each barbecue. Yes. And we are most definitely not eating eight today. That's what she thinks. We're not. I've, I've brought a box. They can go in the fridge. <laughs> so there we go. That's what we're cooking. So according to the quality instructions that came along with this disposable barbecue, we're meant to light all four corners of the brown paper, which is actually white, um, wait 20 minutes um, and then start cooking. Um, charcoal should have turned whitish and then we have to agitate occasionally to keep some heat. How are you going to agitate? Uh, I, well, it said to tap with a utensil on the side. Uh, not just I've, shout at it like you do me. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, get it. It works with you. Get, get it lit. Shout Th at the this barbecue. is a problem though, because you know, first, first, well, first of well, all, you've got to have some, something that you can light it with, which is, uh, oh, there we go. Right. Um, but if you've got to wait 20 minutes before you can even use it, that's not brilliant, is it? There we go. Go on, burn, Just burn. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Disco <laughs> inferno. Right. Uh, there we go. We're there. So. All right, I've set a timer. We shall return. I think she might be about to agitate. Is that, is that it? Well, if I bash it much harder, look, it's going to come off the stupid little stand. Well, that wasn't worth waiting for, was it? Cheers. Right. So, the small one, uh, the uh, the charcoal one, the disposable, has now had its uh, appropriate amount of time. So... Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking, which means I've got to light all these other ones. Yeah. Obviously have a swig Enjoy of this. Enjoy beer at the same time, because it wouldn't be a barbecue without a beer. We have four plates lined up here on the table. Oh, and I've also got the barbecue master chair. So we'll be able to assess the sausages. Yes. Or the sausage whirls, should I say. Basically. So. I think, in my mind though, 
Bridge Monkey wins test number one. Because out of all four of these barbecues, it's the only one that's got a little side table where we've actually been able to put food, the food barbecue. ready to go onto the barbecue. Where's the food? Yeah. So yeah. let's, uh, let's get cracking then. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible as I, uh, as I go through. So, um, it does sound like a bit of an animal, this barbecue. I mean, I don't know if you can see that actually on the film, but the heat coming off that thing. Right. And there's a slight prevailing wind towards me, so I'm going to put those over the heat. Turn it down a bit. And just, and yeah. It'll be black. <laughs> right, next. So we've got the Weber. So turn the gas on. That is on. It's nowhere near as ferocious as the other one. No, I can barely hear myself think of the other one. <laughs> Sausages on the barbie. We'll get those on there. Are you are you going with the, the lid? I am. Oh he's lidding it. I'm lidding it. He's lidding it. Okay. Next and we've got up. Trusty Safari Chef. Which side are you going for, Will? Turn the gas on. Get the gas on here. That's on. That's on. I'm just going to turn it round a bit oh, so the yeah. prevailing wind comes through. Yeah, yeah. good idea. I'm going to go for the uh, the holy side. The grill side. The grill That's side. Idea. Get the lid on that one as it's got one. And then... Last but no means least, or probably least. Well, that's the not one very we're a bit sceptical about. Not very eventful, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. Right. It smells good. Let's see how we get on. We've got a stick on fire. Oh, crikey. I can see black already, and I can right. see something's on fire, so I think Let's... it needs to be turned down a bit, Will. So, should we see how we're doing, then? Without telling him how to. Oh, we've got a sticker. Oh, <laughs> oh beauty. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I first... Quite first... like non-burn. First rule. Too late. First rule of the ridge monkey: just, just be careful. <laughs> it's very, very ferocious. Oh, yeah, that, that sticks. Sticks gone. Sticks gone. So, let's uh, just need to be slightly careful with the uh, with the heat on this. Next up, how's this one doing? Bit more even, probably because of the lid. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. I'd probably suggest using a bit of oil. I should have put some oil on these yeah. uh, sausages first oh, well. so they didn't burn. But, oh, well. uh, okay, no central now. handle on this. You need both yeah. both hands yeah. really. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I'll tell you what, that's nice and even, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Get that lid back on there. And our oh, agitated. Oh. Mm. 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 Yeah. It's not actually that it hot at the side. Feels to me like there's a lot of heat coming off of that. Uh, no, I'd agree. Yeah. So basically, it's twenty they're, they're, minutes. They're doing. They're, they're definitely. As, uh, they're definitely cooking. Okay. Come back in a couple of seconds and have a look. Round two. Round two. Let's have a look and see how we're getting on here. Oh, that's looking. Yeah, you much... basically just need to turn the damn thing down. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, though, if you want a barbecue with power, oh yeah. yeah. I quite like my food cooked rather than singed. Oh, 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 oh. oh behave. Well, it is a gorilla. <laughs> it's not go gorilla. It's a <laughs> gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, emergency in the caddock. Problem. Problems on the caddock. There's now almost you're... fire licking out of the oh, side another there. bit of oh, um, bit of stick again. I'll just turn that round, I think. There, look. Do you need to turn it down? Maybe? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's not okay. burn. It's not burning anything. Okay. Right. How are we doing Webber in here? Then. Yeah. yeah, nice yeah. There. I think at the moment it feels like the Weber's probably the slowest. But doing a nice job. Doing a nice job. The Kadak. Well, you say the slowest. I think the charcoal might be going up. Well, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay. But it feels like the Weber's the slowest at the moment. The Kadak's probably 
second slowest. Maybe maybe the charcoal, but this this gorilla is an absolute beast. If you're hungry <laughs> and you need food quick. <laughs> but you might get food poisoning because you'll have just burnt it. Let's just have a look at how we do. Oh yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yes. It's coming along. Tell you what, it's going to be a turn up for the books if we decide this is the best method after all. <laughs> well, it's certainly... <laughs> it's the cheapest. Well, it, that depends how many barbecues it you have. Does. We'd have to work out how, many, how barbecues. many barbecues you'd need to have before you've paid for one of these yeah. other ones. Because we haven't talked about cost, have we? No. So what we'll do, because I can't remember off the top of my head, what I'll do is I'll point at each one and then I'll put it on the screen. So okay. the Calix Fari Chef 2 without the pizza stone and with a normal griddle is that much. The Weber is that much. And the Griller is that much. And you already know, because we keep saying it, £3.50. £3.50 from Wilco. <laughs> right. <laughs> other, other disposable barbecue manufacturers are available. Now, when would you say these are done? Expert chef. Turn, turn them over. I'll probably give them just a little bit longer. Yeah. They're starting to fall apart though, which would uh, suggest we're getting close, wouldn't it? It would. Okay. Let's have a look at the weather. Oh, it's got a good. Oh. It's got a good. Yeah, it's definitely not cooked yet though, is it? You can still see there's plenty of uh, plenty of juice in there. It's not not done yet. This thing's smoking. Okay. Kadak. Oh, we're, uh, I think, Ooh. getting there. So you reckon we'll turn this down a bit now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very much so. Okay. I'm not liking the look of those. So just, let's just... I'll turn that down a bit, because at least you can. Is it worth um, leaving the lid off? Let it cool down a little bit. I think the problem is, with this, the, the fat is dripping down straight onto the burner. That's very true, actually, Because yeah. underneath this, it, works, it goes straight, it? straight down onto the burner, and that, that's what was causing the fire. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to cleaning that. No, mm. that is going to be a bit of a pain, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So how are we doing on the old charcoal front? I tell you, they're looking nice. They are looking good. Yeah. That is, that yeah. is... I'm liking the look of that. All right, where, have we got a hot spot anywhere? Oh, yeah, a bit more over there. And then over the back here, just turn it round a bit. Okay, I tell you, they're looking good, aren't they? For mm. three pound fifty, yeah. Would you spend that much, that much, or that much to have one of these instead? They look good, and that looks a bit nah. amateur. But that said, if it cooks the best food, then who cares? Mm. I think this might need to be turned up a bit. Personally. Be, be careful. Be, Not that much. No. I can't help myself. Look, as it's looking at the moment, Will, there's going to be two things I'm happy to eat here, and they're the ones that are actually on the charcoal grill. Everyone knows that we're a good fan of power on this channel. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talked about which Cali we bought and why we bought a 204, you know, yeah, we, we power and then that. carcinogenic. Yeah. Like, you know, burnt meat, isn't there? I mean, we're, we're already on the kind of processed meat side which is definitely not best for you and now we're just basically but at least we've got control item we've got a control item though haven't we in terms of how's that kadak one doing because they're looking black i think i think they probably need to come off are they they're done i think so right right so put put those on plate number three Plate number three. This one. That's the one. That's, okay, uh, so we have a look at the. Let's have a look at the weather. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you want to do that any longer. Yeah. We're done. Yeah, plate number two. Okay. How are I'm, we doing on the? I'm more worried about these ones on the ridge monkey at the moment. Well. As soon as you turn that Sorry, way. yeah, it seems to... Yeah, I think they're done, aren't they? They look like it. Yeah. Okay, plate number one. Turn that off. 
which leaves proper fire. Proper fire down here. Are we happy? Oh, they may, yeah. I think they're done. Okay. So actually, cooking in terms time, of ha cooking time, all about the same. Who knew? Mm. All the same, pretty much. <laughs> Despite the fact that I tried to incinerate them on the griller. <laughs> And succeeded, I think, probably. Right. Okay, plate number four. I think now it's got to be... Oops. Don't trip over it, well. It's got to be time. Let's finish a beer. Let's let those sausages cool down just a little, because at the moment they're going to be like Take molten lava. And then it's time for a taste test. Okay, so plate number one. This is the Rich Monkey. Plate number two, the Weber. Plate number three is the Safari Chef. And plate number four, the traditional disposable Barbie. Okay, so, um, as promised, I've made, managed to divide them back up and between coming back in from the van and getting them onto the plate, we have managed to remember which one was which. So we have barbecue number one, which was the Ridge Monkey. Number two, which was the... Weber, number three which was the Kadak and number four which was the disposable charcoal barbie. So um, we've got half a sausage each alongside a beautiful salad. Kind right, of we're going to try a little, and we try need a little to, bit each to then. Try a so little bit which, don't we? Which way are we going? Which one is easiest for you to get at? This one. So that's that number four, four isn't it? So that's the charcoal, charcoal one. Charcoal barbie. So I'll just have a quick taste of this. Looks well cooked. Okay, I think there's a little bit of charcoal-y smokiness. Bit of smokiness. So okay. it's chorizo -y, uh, anyway. So, so this one's number three. So this is the... Kadak. Kadak. Definitely a lot darker. Definitely less smoke. And a bit more burnt. That's probably my fault. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we've got the Weber. Mm. That's quite nicely cooked. Mm. Mine's got a bit more burnt on it again. Not no no real difference between that and the Kadak. And then Bad. finally the Ridge Monkey then. Mm. So my bit on the Ridge Monkey wasn't burnt at all. No, my bit's not actually. And it was actually quite nice and... Mm. I would probably go in, personal preference, disposable. Yeah. Ridge Monkey. Yeah. And then nothing between the Kadak I'd and the Weber. I'd probably go Weber and Kadak, but yeah, it's kind of interchangeable, Ooh, Kadak isn't it? Kadak fourth. Dun, dun. The OG Not has the OG. fallen. <laughs> so, could the actual best way of doing it is use the Ridge Monkey, but put charcoal briquettes in it and actually could use be. it like a, a proper barbecue? It could be. Because then I wouldn't feel quite so bad about throwing away disposable Barbies. It could be. Maybe. So the heavens have opened. I keep getting a bit of a Niagara Fall going on over there. Got the slope. Because we've got the, the slope on the awning yeah. there so that uh, we're not getting the pooling. And uh, we've decided, whilst Will's having his beer over there, to get hold of one of these. It's upside down. There we go. And we're going to have a go at using the Ridge Monkey as a fire pit. So we've got some. Oh, there, there's Niagara Falls look, in the corner. It's been a while since we last lit a fire. So it uh, remains to be seen if it works. Apparently these natural fire lighters, you just use the one. Looks like it's going up quite well. Do you want to just take this that? is how camping should be done. <laughs> Me standing here filming, him actually doing the doing washing. Doing nothing at all. <laughs> Right. Quite, quite a nice little funky washing up area this, in the wild, nice, nicely covered. It's 
spot the California in the distance over there. Just thinking about how we, uh, so this, this is, is the, 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 this ridge is the ridge monkey. monkey. So first of all, we've got the uh, griddle pan, or oh, the griddle itself. So I've got this kind of weird kind of mesh, metal wash up thing. So kind of Brillo pad, but without the chemical in it. Yeah. So I'll give that a bit of a go. Looks like it's doing the job there, Will. I don't think you're ever going to get it back to uh, beautiful again, but as long as it's uh, cleaning up, that's the main thing, not greasy. And inside here, see there, there's just a bit of fat on the uh, burner cover. And then there's some, probably some bits underneath that we need to do some washing with as well. So, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's done a good job on that one. Done a good job That'll on do. that. Let's yep. just put that no. down there. So then you've got the burner cover itself. So that is going to get a bit sooty underneath. Sooty, yeah. Oh, excuse the donkey. She's not talking about me either. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey number one. Donkey number donkey two. Donkey number two. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, there's, there's actually a, there's three donkeys over there, I think. We'll show you them a bit later. Yeah, so this didn't actually have anything drip on it at all. I thought it had a couple of little bits. Okay, well, it's... When I looked. Yeah, looks all right. Dead easy, though. Shiny. Wash that up. And then what have we got in here, then? So we've got to take the... Bar out. Now I'm not going to dunk that in there. I think that just needs it's sooty. It just needs a white. A, a white yeah, give wipe it a over. white with some kitchen towel or something, can't we? Yeah, I don't really want to do anything with that. And then we've got this plate in here. Just take this out. So I'm just going to get it in the right place. There we go. So that has got. A bit on it. Give it a. Giving ourselves quite a mammoth washing up session here, haven't we? Using. Well, I'll say three different barbecues. I know there's four, but the fourth one you chuck away, which I've got some problems with. I'll tell you what, this is. It's a good little bit a, of kit, that. It's a really good. Kind of like a Brillo pad, but. But without the. But with soap. a kind of handle. Yeah. Looks yeah, like I'm it, liking like the. You're handle. tearing it to shreds a bit, now. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that looks that done. Yeah. The, the other side. That's only the bottom anyway, so yeah, that's done. Done. Bits of Brillo pad, or whatever it is. <laughs> and then this does still need a bit of wash up just on each of these different panels. So I'm trying to think about the best way to do that. Because you kind of need to do it elsewhere, don't you? So if I just do it with a sponge to start with, because these bits don't come off, mm. I'm def definitely going to need to use the other bit. You could take that bottom panel out if you wanted to, yeah. by the looks of it, but I, it's not that dirty, so I don't think I will. Right. Use the other one just on these burnt-on bits. Well, I guess I'm off really quick, isn't it? And that done. It's done. So it's now pretty speedy, isn't that? Just need to rinse that under a uh, a tap. We'll take of it some back kind. to the pitch, can't we? And uh, yeah. use the tap over rinse there. It up under the tap. Right. So back with the weather, and as you'll see, not a lot in there. I think if you had mm, some stuff good. which was a bit more spitty, 
then you might have a problem in there. But quite a deep dish of a lid, isn't it? But I think pretty much it's just going to be a quick bit of fairy. Quick, yeah, bit of fairy, and then probably just rinse it out again. Yeah, done. And then that will be done. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay. So how's this looking? So then we've got... Well, it's important to remember we've had this a, a while, so... Uh, yeah, this isn't... That well, is never, this... ever going to be no, <laughs> like new you again. See you've got kind of grease on the bottom, grease on the top. I'll give it a bit of a... It smells good. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Mm. <laughs> uh, but it will require a little bit of... Now, do I try this on it? Mm. I don't think it's technically non-stick, is it? I think it's more enamelled. It is enamelled, yeah. Well, it seems to... It's probably going to come up cleaner than it ever has done before. Uh, I think you might be right, yeah. yeah. Going to end up doing a review of this cleaning tool, actually, aren't we? <laughs> it's Just a... need to go back to Morrison's and find another one. I think it's a Spontex or something, isn't it? Yeah. It is a Spontex, yeah. Okay. Wire brush on thing. a handle thing. I think this is going to be cleaner than when we started, yeah. Just no bad thing, is it? No, no, not bad. Put some elbow grease in, Will. Come on. <sighs> to earn that next beer somehow, yeah. isn't it? Right. Same on the back. I think... Universally, this is the worst bit of barbecuing, isn't it? Is the clean up. I mean, I so. we could have done these two at a time, obviously, and there's only two of us, so it's not really that much of a problem. Or even maybe four at a time in a Ridge Monkey. Uh, and that's, that leaves you kind that's of. It's not barbecue, though, is it? It's not barbecue, no. It's not barbecue. Right, so we're left now with. What we lined earlier, because yes. from previous experience of trying to clean this barbecue out. So if I take this out. It being an absolute blooming nightmare. That, with actually just a, a wipe. Yeah, just a quick wipe in there do it. Obviously we, we now need to throw away some foil. Not very not eco perfect. friendly. Not, not no. massively eco friendly. And there we go. So I think, in terms of cleanup, yeah. wins, wins over the uh, Ridge Monkey. Yes, fewer surfaces to clean, but we did line it. We did. We did line it. And if I'm that not... hadn't have been lined, that, considering, because you can't remove that bar, the gas bar out of there. No, that's quite all fixed. how on earth. You're ever meant to get that clean enough to feel like you it's, want to put it back in the bag. Yeah, and it's kind of underneath it, isn't and it? And back in your van. I've got no not, idea. But Yeah, and I'm also not sure whether you could line... You might be able to line the... Uh, ridge monkey. Line the ridge monkey if probably. we Probably. You probably just need harder. to pierce some holes or something in it because it's got some strategically yeah. placed holes, hasn't it? Okay. Okay. Right. Last but no means least. The safari chef. The OG. So, <laughs> well, we don't know whether it is yet or not. We haven't decided. Well, it is the original. So, it, yes, it is. Yeah. Um, so that definitely needs a bit of a uh, clean up in there. I'm tempted to give that a dunk, you know. Yeah, give it a dunk. So, so uh, that's the multi-use lid that you could use as a frying pan, wok, whatever. Obviously, it's not non-stick, so... Um, you're going to have to be a little bit careful what you put in there, but you can kind of go at it to clean it. Yeah, that was easy enough. Yeah, done. That down there. Right. And we've got this. Half and half. Oh, that looks... A bit grim. Grim, yeah. I'm in with the Spontex. He's in with the Spontex. Are we going to live to regret it? Because I think this is technically meant to be a sort of non-stick surface, but... I think it was kind of non-stick when we were cooking on it. It might not be non-stick anymore. <laughs> it's going to be scratched. <laughs> That's the underside of it, isn't it? So it's kind no, of... No, no, this is... Is that, is not, the... is that the top side? Yeah. 
Did it coat the underside as well in greasy? Not so much. No? No. Okay. So that was a more of a problem on the weather then? Yeah. Both sides? No, that was, that was okay. Cleaning. It's. I mean, it's, it's... I mean, again, it's been used quite quite yeah. a lot, hasn't it? So. And this is the first time we've used that Spontex thing. Yeah. So if we'd have had that from the start, it probably yeah, would have been Yeah, maybe it would have been better, better from the start. Okay. That's okay, that bit. done. Right. So and you've got this bit, this, the bit that sits over the burner. Catches all of the grease. And yeah, so that is going to need a good, stuff in good there. going over. Give it a go with the sponge first and then I'll... How's our fake fairy doing? Fake fairy? It's all right. Yeah. yeah. It's, is it still getting grease off even after all of this? I think so. Yeah. I think it does. We do have to say though, it's done a real that has done a really good job of keeping grease off of this. There's there's not a lot to go at here, actually at all. There's you know a couple of dried on bits, and that that's it. So not bad at all. How's that coming up? All right. And obviously I wouldn't dunk this. This is just going to be a little well, wipe the problem, over of the top. Yeah, the problem with the Kadak and the Weber and the is Weber. that the, um, uh, it's obviously all um, all of the ignition stuff and everything else is all built yeah. into it. Whereas it? the Ridge Monkey, it's um, careful, you don't want to snap those legs while pushing down on that like that. You see that hasn't really... Yeah, loving the Spontex. Yeah, it's, it's leaving a bit of a mark though on that. Oh dear. Oh. It's, not, it's not imperative we get that squeaky cleaner so she don't cook on that. No, this and this one's ours. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the Weber's ours as well. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the testing over and done with. What do you think won? We've devised um, a bit of a table which will flash up on the screen shortly and we've scored everything um, with a maximum of either four points in that category, down three, two to one. So the winner in that category in our mind gets four points, the loser gets one. Um, we haven't weighted those scores in any particular way. Um, so we haven't weighted things like eco credentials or barbecue taste or anything. It's literally just a complete sort of point tally and that's it. So are you ready? Who do you think the winner is? It's actually the, the disposable Wilco barbecue. So for the first time ever, I think on California time, save your pennies. But the Ridge Monkey does come in a second place. And that's because we really liked how versatile it could be. So you could run it on gas or on charcoal. Um, so you don't have to carry around a gas bottle if you really don't want to. Um, we also quite liked how easy it was to clean. There's lots of bits to clean, but it's pretty easy to actually clean. Um, and we really liked the taste, actually. It was pretty good. Um, it came second uh, in our taste testing uh, behind the charcoal and um, chuck away disposable barbecue. So our thinking was, well, if we use charcoal in the Ridge Monkey, then happy days. It also folds down so small. Um, you know, just that little kind of um, pack that's quite flat on there. Brilliant, couldn't really fault it. So there you go. That's a bit of a shocker to end on, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. We really enjoyed filming it. Uh, we managed to dodge the rain, which is fantastic. <laughs> and if you know our channel, you'll know that when we come away camping, it generally rains and it is raining as I speak. So if you liked it, like the channel, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for some more California time. Bye.